Hello, welcome back. Today we are doing an, a, a, a shootout, a comparison of two great releases. One iconic album talking about Jimi Hendrix experience. Are you experienced? You know, I got my UHQR copy quite fast. Maybe some of you do remember. I already had the Merino, but I did the video and, and didn't go too deep into this comparison. And I, I, I said in my video that I will do it later on. And now that the hype around this release has settled, I think it's, it's a good time to do this comparison right now and give you my two cents about the result. The main differences next to the vinyl formula are of course the mastering engineers. When it comes to the UHQR release we're talking Bernie Grundman. When it comes to this let's call it regular release whatever you like we are talking about George Marino. Hype sticker says for the non UHQR all analog mastering from the original two track master tapes by George Marino complete original artwork manufactured by QRP quality records pressing. So same house, same, same pressing plant in a way. And, and George Marino of course is also no, not a mastering engineer who is, isn't familiar to analog productions. He did the fantastic, the fantastic Verf series for analog production, a series we do not talk about enough because those releases are stunning throughout and, and George Marino did a fantastic job, a fantastic job. And he also, and, and a lot of, of, of other uh, 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 reviewers stated that he also did a fantastic job on this one and right so. This album sounds really, really good. And, and now there are, in my opinion, two elephants in the room. One elephant, and we go right into the first elephant, is which one sounds better? Is there a better sounding version? And the second elephant, of course, are the price categories. The UHQR, you get you have to pay 125 plus shipping. The other one is, is a regular priced album. Let's start with the first elephant. Which one is there a release I think that does sound better? You know, maybe before I go into that, I have to explain something which I usually don't do, but for this video, I think it, it, make, it really makes sense. Let me briefly talk about my equipment. As some of you may know, I have this Einstein equipment. And this is an unbelievable, if it's one thing, it's unbelievable <laughs> revealing. Unbelievable revealing system, which uh, is probably so because of Volker Bollmeier's philosophy. He wants to reach one goal. He wants to be as near as possible to the life experience, which leads to this incredible revealing system. And of course, in my opinion, that really helps if you do shootouts, if you compare uh, 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 releases. And that stated, we would now talk about, about them. This one, this is a Merino, really does sound great. When you then put on this, I show you the vinyl, this UHQR, the first thing that comes to mind is that <laughs> the Merino is much, much louder. So you have really have to adjust the volume level to, to be on par. Okay, I've, I've heard it, I've 
did it and I, I listened to them back and forth and forth and back and, and, and so that I'm quite sure that I'm not on Monday I think this one, on, on Wednesday I think this one. So I listened to quite, quite some times to them and Bernie Grundman did it. Why do I say that so? Uh, in Germany we say apodiktisch. I don't know if there is an English term. I'm quite sure Bernie Grundman nailed it. First, there is the voice of, of Jimi Hendrix, which is much more in the place and, and much more integrated in the whole music. The voice is, is a big difference between those two releases, in my opinion, on my equipment. And I like it better. The overall clarity and separation, soundstage and depth is more prominent on the Bernie Grundman. And I do like it when this is the case. Of course, you can always reduce these things to taste. Yeah, of course you can do that. But those are the factors for my evaluations. Soundstage, depth, separation, the overall, the overall touch of the music, the integrity, that might be a good term. The overall integrity is also something very, very important. But this you have on both releases. And, and don't get me wrong here. We are not talking this is a 6 and this is a 10. We are talking a 9 and a 10 in that area. In my opinion, quite listenable. It's not witchcraft to hear differences. For sure not. And this is why I can say, after really some listenings of a fantastic album, so it's not a punishment, uh, in my opinion, Bernie Grundman did it. And now for the second elephant in the room, the price difference. Is it, let's say, 95 dollars or euros better? This is not a legit question, in my opinion. You know, you have that with everything. You have it with fashion. You have it with cars. You have it, have it with watches, with glasses, with porcelain, with books, with hi-fi equipment, with everything. I can't answer that question. I think this question everybody should answer for himself. And, um, it's significant different price, yeah, but I think in a way people already answered it. I think it's almost, it, I, I think it's sold out, I don't know, but, but almost sold out. Hey, so what? All good on that part. That's what I can say to the price elephant. Okay, this is my comparison. I hope I could make myself clear. <laughs> uh, Probably some of you really disagree and I would love to discuss that. Please, let's discuss your own opinion if you could compare them. Would really would love to hear it. But either way, it's a fantastic album. And of course, that's what counts. And to have that in this quality on vinyl is beautiful, stunning. Yeah, that's what counts. Okay, thank you for your time. See you on the next one. Bye.